Hi, it's Nell, and yes, I just took a very pot-bound spider plant out of here, and what I'm going to plant in stead of it is a variegated elephant's food. So stick around for that, because this is a very fun hanging succulent. So I'm jumping in with a few things. The bulk of this video was filmed in early April. It is now mid-September and I just want to show you how beautifully the elephant's food is doing. This beautiful variegated plant, it's trailing wonderfully. I snipped a few things off, a few of things, a few stems off the top, but mostly it's just evolving into a strictly hanging form. And it's a little bit on the paler green side now. As you can see, that's because of the heat. We have hot summers here in Tucson. Ooh, lots of sun. You know, this gets a couple hours of morning sun. It'll change color a bit. Once the weather cools, it'll get more green. You know, still keep its variegation. And it'll be tinged with pink. It's doing so much better here than the spider plant, which is now inside and nice and beautiful and green because our summer temperatures can be anywhere from 102 to 110. So this is able to handle it much better than the spider plant. And there is also a solid green form of this plant. I just want to show you right there. That is the green elephant's food. And this one is growing upright and trailing a bit as you can see and the annual vinca in the front has been blooming for gosh i think it's been in for three years now so it's time to take it out it's getting tired and this is the lovely lantana which has been blooming a lot this summer and i just want to give you a heads up about last week's post which didn't have a video it is growing a ponytail palm outdoors specifically in containers the link will be down below and also on my website joyous garden and this plant not only hangs but it's um it's used in bonsai it can also grow upright too and be more of a shrub form but i am going to keep it primarily as a hanging plant it, it can climb up some too but i want it to trail out and the spider plant was very very pot bound if you watch that video actually I'm not sure which one I'm gonna upload first so <laughs> that might have uploaded already or it, it might be coming but it was very pot bound it wasn't holding water it was bleached out a little bit from the Sun the tips were really dry from the dry air here in Tucson so I want a plant that can um, that doesn't take as much water outdoors because this is going to grow outdoors for me. It also grows as a house plant and it can also take um, a couple hours of the morning sun that it is going to get. So it's going to be a much better plant there. Now there's nothing special that this plant requires for um, a mix. Actually a straight succulent and cactus mix is just fine. For this but because mine is growing outdoors I'm gonna put in some cocoa qua I think I'm also gonna add a little bit more pumice to it and I'm gonna put in some compost and then I'm gonna top it with worm worm compost if I was doing it as a house plant it would probably be mainly succulent and cactus mix but outdoors I as I said I don't want to have to water it every five to seven days and I should not have to because it's going in a big enough pot and it is a succulent. So this is my succulent cactus mix here. It is a locally produced one. It's the same you know recipe that I'm going to be doing the DIY succulent mix very soon but I'll just show it to you. It's got a lot of 
cocoa qua chips and fiber and it's got big chunks of pumice and woo and I'm gonna add the rest of this cocoa qua chips which is not all that much at all and then some compost in here I'm gonna mix it around a, a little bit and this is gonna need more boy this is really gonna take off and grow in here because they do grow quite fast here there we go boy it's a good thing I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make some mix soon I think I'm gonna have to use a little potting soil in here because I'm gonna run out of succulent and cactus mix so let's see about that that should be okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the plant out of the pot and actually I'll, I'll zoom in a little closer for you okay so this I'm just gonna squeeze the pot and it should come out fairly easily haha -ha. <laughs> okay there, there it just came right out and as you can see the roots on this aren't too crazy so not like aloe vera <laughs> that has thick thick roots okay that looks about right I might I might bump it up a little bit and what I'm gonna use now is some potting soil because I'm gonna run out of succulent cactus mix and that's okay because this is gonna be growing outside so a little potting soil isn't bad but what I'm gonna do is because I'm using potting soil which just has chunks of perlite in it I want to add these big chunks of pumice to up the ante on, on, on the drainage I just have all these ingredients because I do a lot of repotting so throw a couple couple more handfuls in there beautiful beautiful now I'm gonna stir stir it up like a big pot of stew <laughs> okay it is the very end of the day so I'm thinking of dinner I guess <laughs> okay there we go I, I got a little more compost I'm gonna add in but, but right now I'm just doing the rest of the succulent and cactus mix I didn't real oh, I didn't realize I was so low on it oh my goodness you know that's a crises around here but I have all the ingredients to make the blend so I'm gonna film a bougainvillea pruning you know video within the next couple days and I'll also do the DIY cactus and succulent mix too in case you're interested to make your own so this is compost and I'm gonna put a little bit more compost in around here another bowl full of it I just go around and I sprinkle it because I want it to be well nourished too and also it does help to uh, nourish it and it also helps to hold the moisture a little, little bit which in this case because it is a fleshy succulent and here in Tucson we can get like 110 in the summer I was taking a few pictures for the blog so here you can see this plant is going to have plenty of room to grow in here and it does get to be a good size so I won't have to repot it for a very very long time and because they do use it in bonsai it can grow it can grow slightly pot bound just fine so I went to put the last of the potting soil in the plant and then it just sort of went out of the bag instead of in in you know into the pot oh well <laughs> oh, as I said every time I pot something up I always make a huge mess but it's hard not to so this is worm compost here I'm just gonna go sprinkle about a quarter of an inch on the top all the way around give this plant a good start in its new home so for the aftercare um, with fleshy succulents and cacti I like to let them settle in for about at least five days 
and then I will give this plant a good thorough watering. The root ball was also moist um, on this plant. I had watered it, I think, three days ago. So it, so it was just fine. I'm just going to put it over in its hanging spot, which is um, it's an east exposure. It gets about two hours of morning sun. But I will be doing a care video on this plant very soon because it's a great one to grow indoors and outdoors. So again, one more quick look at the plant after you saw me repotting it, or I should say planting it into its new pot. And see how much it's grown in just like four and a half months. And as usual, there's a blog post to go along with this video. So check that for more details because I'm trying to get through this video soon. I think it's about six o'clock and I'm going to lose, you know, the good light. So I want to just get it done, get this hung up and get all this stuff back in the garage. So I hope you have found this video about potting up a variegated elephant's food which also the uh, genus is Portulacaria, uh, to be helpful. I have a lot more videos coming your way about gardening, succulents, houseplants, all kind of good stuff. So stay tuned for those. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really do appreciate them. Now let's get out in our gardens or into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.